Hi, and welcome to my channel, Shades of Sage, where I discuss all things motherhood. My name is Hashima, I am a doula and mom of three, and today I wanna to talk about all the things that you need for baby's first year of life. I know as parents, especially as new parents, we get caught up in all of the gadgets, all of the toys and accessories that are sold for baby, but these are the top five things that you really need for baby's first year of life. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing that your baby will need is food. So however you decide to feed your baby, whether this is breast milk, whether this is formula or a combination of the two, that's probably your biggest thing for baby's first year, for your child's whole entire life, is food. <laughs> so for the first six months or so, it's your choice what kind of milk you want to give your baby then after that you can start introducing some table foods some pureed foods or baby led weaning basically food is your biggest or number one priority so number two is a safe place to sleep so this can be a crib this can be a bassinet it could be one of those loungers that attach to the side of the bed or co-sleeping now i know co-sleeping is one of those things that's a little hot topic or highly debated in parenthood so i will do a video on co-sleeping because i personally co-slept with all of my children but if that's not the way that you plan to sleep with your child most parents usually go for a crib or a bassinet bassinets are really nice because they're a smaller space but they're only good for about the first three to six months or so usually about 15 pounds to 20 pounds your baby will will grow out of the bassinet so really whatever bassinet if you do buy a bassinet just check the instructions they usually have a weight limit also if your baby is learning to sit up or if your baby can sit up and roll over that usually means your baby is ready to be out of the bassinet but you can get a crib and your newborn can sleep in a crib from newborn all the way up until you're ready for them to get into their big bed so it's really up to you what you want to put your baby in to sleep but a safe place for your baby to sleep is a necessity. Number three is a car seat. Now I do realize that this may not apply to everyone. If you don't own a car, you may not need a car seat, but most hospitals want you to have a car seat when you're transporting the baby home from the hospital to your place of residence. So, so investing in a good car seat, a good quality car seat, definitely is something that you're gonna need for your baby's first year of life and all the way up to booster seats. So that's just something that you're going to need. So whether you decide to go the infant carrier route, which is the base stays in the car and the carrier, you can take that in and out of the car. It's kind of handy when you do have an infant, a newborn, because if you're going shopping or something like that, you don't have to worry about taking the baby physically out and you know waking them up if they are asleep. And then you can go the convertible car seat route. So that's something that goes with baby from newborn all the way. A lot of them change into booster seats. Those are the ones that I have for my children. But if you have a preemie baby, I just want to make note that some convertible car seats, your baby may not fit the weight requirement for some of the convertible car seats. So you may be better off just having an infant carrier and then switch into a convertible car seat. That's what I had to do with my first child. So again, it's all preference. It's all up to you what you want to do. I know they even have car seats now that are part of a stroller system so the infant carrier will go seamlessly into the stroller which is really nice and they have ones now where they the whole entire thing is a stroller so that's really cool but just something safe to transport your baby if you're going somewhere. So my number four I want to talk about is something for waste and what I mean by waste is what comes out of your baby's back end. So peeing and poop is just a part of life. It's something that you will have a lot of experience with. So most parents go to disposable routes so disposable diapers whatever brand diapers you like I am going to do a video on my top baby slash toddler favorites because I do want to share the ones that I use for me and my kids. But of course, every parent is different. Every baby is different. And so your baby may like one thing and not like another thing. So experiment with some different brands out there. But disposable diapers, one way you can go. Then there's cloth diapering. So that's where you hand wash them yourself. I know some people are not into that, but it is an option for you. And then the third one is elimination communication. So this is where you're teaching an infant how to use the bathroom on their own little potty and you really don't use diapers, disposable, or a cloth one. So I don't know that much about it, but I am really interested in it. So if you're one of those parents that does elimination communication, definitely leave a comment down below on the tips or the things that work for you. But that is another route that you can go. If you wanna learn some more about it, leave a comment down below and maybe I can research that one and make that another video because I would like to know some more as well. Or you can look it up for yourself. But those are the three ways you can go, but you definitely do need something to catch your baby's waist. So the last thing that I wanna mention for this video is clothing. So I'm talking all kinds of clothing, hats, 
jackets, coats, socks. This is probably one of the things that you'll spend a lot of money on and one of those things that you're gonna need a lot of, especially with a newborn baby because they tend to spit up, throw up, have blowouts. So you definitely need clothes on standby. So you wanna make sure that you have the appropriate clothing for whatever season that you're in, especially for whatever season that the baby is born in so that they're not too hot, they're not too cold. And you also wanna make sure that you have the right sizes. So with newborn clothing, they are listed kind of funny and certain brands fit a little bit differently. So they go from newborn and then zero to three and then three to six, six to nine, and then usually nine to 12. But some clothes range from zero to six months and then some are six to 12 months. So just really making sure that you have the right articles of clothing for the right time of year, but not buying too much of one size or too much of one thing because as we know, babies grow really quickly, especially when they're in that infant newborn stage and they may only wear a thing for one time and then the next time you try it, they may not be able to fit it. So definitely clothing, like I said, socks, hats, jackets, coats, all of those things you're definitely going to need for your baby's first year of life. And just want to make a quick reminder, no coats in the car seat, please. That is unsafe. It keeps the car seat straps from being snug enough in case of a car accident. So remember, again, no coats in the car seat, but jackets are fine. Hoodies are fine. So yeah, that's it. Those are the top five things that you need for baby. You know, every day you're probably bombarded with advertisements for this new gadget, this new thing. But just remember, that you don't have to keep up with the latest and greatest thing. You don't have to go spending all your money on the most expensive car seat or the most expensive travel system. Those things are really not that important. The main thing that your baby needs for the first year of life all the way into adulthood is love. That's going to account for way more than any material thing that you can ever give your child and your presence. So just you being there really, really, really does make a difference in your child's life. Remember as a parent to trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, if something doesn't seem right, it's usually because it isn't. So trust your intuition. If your baby has a weird kind of rash that's just not going away, or if they're just not acting right, or something pops up that's out of the ordinary for your child, definitely question it. Go to your pediatrician. If you feel like you're not getting the answers that you need, just keep at it until you get to the root of the problem. Don't feel bad if you can't afford really expensive things. Just know that your love and your presence is more than enough. So that's all that I have for today. If you have any comments or additional things maybe that you think I missed, definitely leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give me a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you to all of my subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And remember to let your story be your power. Bye. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Can you close the door? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's baby Kenzo. Hey, hi. Thank you.